Greetings, friends, relatives, nomads, hobos, seekers, searchers, has beens, wannabes. Coastal Kev here with our next trip. We're uh, February 12th, 2022. We'll take off for a month. By the way, if you hear the Panama Limited coming through, you, you'll know. I can hear the horn now. Yeah, it's coming. It's not coming fast though. Kind of taking its time. Yeah, it's pretty slow. It may it may be a freight freight train. Where are we going? Where are we going? Normally we head down here to Florida for a month, get out of the cold. But we flipped a coin and we're headed west. Let's go west this time, huh? On the notorious ten Interstate Ten. And uh, what we'll do is we'll stop in Houston first for a day trash around there take some pictures do what do what do whatever we'll stop into San Antonio I've already been there I worked there a month and I've seen the five the five missions on the mission trail so we'll head from San Antonio to El Paso it's gradual, but it's uphill. You get in the mountains of uh, New Mexico, they got some grades, pretty steep grades, but the vans run great. And we'll stop in Tucson and see the notorious Chris Atchison, an old buddy of mine, and then up to Phoenix to see the famous Scott Bergman. We'll see him for a few days. Then over to Quartzsite, all the nomads are in quartzite, so we'll go to quartzite, check it out. A lot of dirt and rocks and thorns should be good. And uh, with time permitting, we may take a little John up in here to Utah and see the famous John Casey. He lives up here in Utah. And weather permitting, gas prices, whatever, let's go over to Four Corners. I guess that's right in here, Four Corners, top Arizona. Monument Valley, always wanted to go and see it. Been to the Grand Canyon, been to Flagstaff, been to Kingman, all those lovely places. I took this route four years ago out to California all the way to Santa Monica. That's where the I-10 ends. And it starts out here in Jacksonville, Florida. Weather looks good. We're delayed by an ice storm in Texas. So we hung out here for a few more days in beautiful Pearl River County up here in Mississippi, in uh, South Mississippi, Southwest Mississippi, Mr. Sippy. Uh, directions, pretty easy. Get on the 59, about 15 minutes, hit the 10, take a right, and that's it. No more turns all the way across. So we'll go trash around out there in the western deserts for a month and come back this way. Should be good weather, not too hot, not too cold. Cold in the evenings. It's been cold here in the evenings, but it's getting up to 70s during the day. Yeah, that's a freighter. That's a freighter. It's, uh, it's, it's slow through town. So that's where we're going. Let's talk about some heat in this cold. Okay, we hear you. We hear you. Oh, freighter, he's going slow. Okay, okay, we hear you. <laughs> so some engineers like to lay on the horn. Uh, when I'm plugged in, stationary camping, I like these heaters, these electric heaters. They work real good and they're cheap. They were 23 bucks for these, but now they're up to about 30. And uh, they put out heat coming directly out of here. This part, the, the outside, doesn't get hot. Listen to the magic sound of that freighter. He's in no hurry. There's a couple of crossings right here and he'll he'll shut his horn off in a second as he heads north. So these little electric heaters work pretty good. I've tried a different set, different types. They work pretty good. Uh, they have a mechanism if they fall down they shut off. 
But like anything, any kind of heater is going to catch your place on fire. The drapes, your blankets, whatever, newspapers, this will set your van on fire. So make sure you wear your mask, steel-toed shoes, goggles, and a note from your mother when you're using these things. Now this one, this has been a good one. This has been working real good, sometimes all day, sometimes all night. But last night, she met her match, and she finally kicked kicked the bucket started sparking and sending out a smell that's the first thing you're going to notice is a smell it wasn't enough to trigger my uh, circuit breaker in the van but, but it started flaming up in there after it sparked so I unplugged it put it outside set her down she's still on fire and the light's still on so I imagine there's a capacitor or something in there but anyways we we put her on the ground and gave her a bath some water She's gone. She did a good job. She was very good. She was very good. Now I have a spare, so I bring in this spare with me. We plug in at your house. When I pull in the driveway, we'll run a cord, and this will keep you. This puts out enough heat for the van, and I believe the electric ones like these are safer than uh, our good buddies. How about your good buddy? You got the buddy heater? This is a little buddy. It sits on the tank like that with your little stand. You got your stand, not your stand, and your green bottle and your little buddy. Now this puts out pretty good heat, but it's not like these. And you'll go through two two cans of gas in a night. So I don't run these at night. We get up in the morning, I run a heater just to warm up, uh, or right before bed, I'll put this near my hands and warm up now the thing is about these new ones is they have a pilot light and when you set this up and turn it all on that pilot light stays on all night whether you adjust the temperature or whatever maybe you turn it down <clears throat> the uh, pilot lights gonna stay on all night and frugal guy like me I don't want to waste gas on a pilot light but that's the new ones that's how they go that's how they go now here's an old one that I've had and uh, <clears throat> This is my second one of these. This is a catalytic. They call it a big cat, super cat. What are they calling this thing? They're calling it, uh, well, they had a name for it. They have a sport cat that's smaller. And uh, and this, uh, this type here, you have to light with a match or a lighter. And it flares up as it starts. And then as you turn it down a little bit, it just glows. And there's no pilot light to this. That's probably why they don't sell them anymore. I saw, I found this in a pawn shop. The guy wanted 10 bucks, I gave him 20. Because I really like these. These are great in the morning. And uh, it puts up pretty good heat, it takes the chill off. But nothing like these electric ones. If I have to, I'll put the generator out and run one of these if it's getting, you know, down to 10 degrees or something. But these are good in the morning, warm yourself up. Uh, I like it because there's no pilot light, it's not wasting gas, it's just putting out heat. And you can also take this one, they're designed to sit like that with those little legs. They're designed to sit with these legs like that. And you put them in your duck blind or at the football game. But you can also put them in that stand and run them like that. And it puts out some nice heat. Heat, little little buddy, and this one will set your van on fire. So be careful. Don't put your sheets near them or newspapers or let them fall over or don't let the dog knock them over because they will set you on fire. I don't run these at night. The electric ones I do. They're pretty safe. They fall over, they shut off, and there's no real flame coming out of there. These propane ones are putting out a flame, and uh, could could give you a rude awakening. Well, that's it. The van's all ready. The doggy's all ready. We just got to gas up and go. Get us a little shower at the gym. And we're headed for Houston. It's about a six-hour drive. We'll see how far we get. But the uh, van's running great. Great tune-up. It's working fine. Runs smooth. Um, flush the radiator. All new oils. Tires are fair. So let's go. 
we'll uh, check back with you when we get into Houston. I may spend a day there in Houston. I got got a building there I want to look at, the Chevron building. I don't know if you've seen it. It's a pretty amazing building, so we'll check it out. Right, Dottie? Are you hungry? No, she's not hungry. She already ate. And yesterday she had a bath. All right, kids, we're on the road. We'll see you on I-10. Honk if you see me. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.